Try to make the image levitate to keep a man insane I might shoot my shot at LMA Oh, y'all thought this was a joke I did not follow directions, but I made it on my own Alright, so... So obviously I can't walk in the frame like I normally do. However, welcome to the video. As you see by the title, we're getting police lights installed, but not in this car. This is the Toyota that we're in. We're actually driving across the state to Fort Myers. That's because about two months ago, a tow truck came, picked up the vehicle, and brought it over here to have some lights installed. To rewind further than that, about three months ago, uh, when I started putting up the police car build videos, was contacted by uh, this little company called Willin. What? Wheeling, yes, the biggest, the largest manufacturing company of emergency lights and designers of lights for police equipment, fire trucks, ambulances, pretty much anything that has kind of emergency lights in it, they're the number one company for it. So they reached out and they were like, hey, love what you're doing with the Vic. What do you say we throw some lights and some special equipment inside the car? And I was like, hmm, let me think about it, yes. And that leads us up to today. The Nod Squad Mobile Hot Rodding Nodding Car, we haven't named it yet, I know, uh, is over at Lightning Fleet Solutions in Fort Myers. We're almost there. When we get there, I'll give you guys a rundown of what's going on. And I forgot to mention, those beautiful B-roll shots were done by the beautiful Havana White. Hey guys. All right, get my handy dandy uh, police cars hat. <laughs> Plug! This is where we must part, Havana White, AKA my wife. So if you guys don't mind looking that way, I gotta give my wife a smoochers. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. All right, well, she's out, gotta go back home and do mommy duties. That's right. Sorry, babe. So you wanna see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. <laughs> All right, now that Havana White has dropped me off, we are arrival at Lightning Wireless Solutions. All dismantled. What's up? What's up? What's going on, man? Nick? Gio. Nice to meet you. Alright. What's up, man? Nick? How you doing, man? Fabio. Nice to meet you. Oh, there she is. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. I know you. Hey, Nick. Hey, what's going hey, on? Hey, you finally made it. What up, Chris? Right on time. What? What? Five o'clock. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? All right. Nah, nah, just, you know. Yeah. A little late, huh? Still a little late. Right on, hey, What's look at that? that. Five o'clock bell. It's not even movie magic. Is that the, uh, <laughs> is that the bell for everybody to go That's home? That's the bell for everybody to go oh home. Oh my God. <laughs> so my name's Chris Watkins. I'm a field solutions engineer with Wheel Engine Engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of the Nod Squad. That's right. I wanted to make sure that we were a part of this build. So uh, I reached out to Nick and here we are. That's right, here we are. And I see some boxes that are open over there with some equipment. We kind of got started without you. Okay, I, and, I, and I see everyone packing up and the bell. Does that mean the day's over? The, the, the day is over. These guys get to go home at five. They worked a full day today. All right. <laughs> um, so typically how long will we be here? 
So a typical build for a police car like this is probably two to three days, depending yeah. on what equipment going in. There's a little bit of customization because um, it's Crown Vic, uh -huh. and uh, they stopped making these in 2012. Yes. And uh, we had to drum up some parts, and we're kind of making some things as we go along. So okay. we may take a little longer, but uh, we should have this wrapped up in a couple days. So guys, what that means, this is gonna be day one part of this video and it's gonna continue going on and you guys are gonna come along through the entire process of this build. So, um, today I guess we're not gonna run down the parts, maybe tomorrow. Let's do that tomorrow. We yeah. can give you the full rundown. Sweet, all right, so uh, that means uh, we're done for today. We're done for today. So it was nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, sir. And goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>Policing me, where I just do a little first. I do the perimeter walk, and I noticed a lot of vehicles. Man, how yeah. how big are we looking here? How big we're, is this place? We're probably about 280 vehicles on premise right now that we're waiting for parts or in queue. We have parts. We got to get them into the bay, get them upfitted, built for the agencies. Okay. I think at this point we have more vehicles on premise than uh, an auto dealership. <laughs> With, All right, so. You want to give us a breakdown of the the facility here? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Show you the uh, display board here. We got the uh, wheel and display board. Pop on some lights for you. Oh, right. Uh, we can go see our two-way side. We are a Motorola two-way radio shop, traditional Motorola two-way radio shop. So let's go in and go see Ken. All right, let's go. Two-way side. Got to give. Uh, oh, look at that. What is this over here? History of American, American Fire Fire Firefighters, Fire. history of American police officers. I think this is a little more uh, accurate because I don't see any recliners over here. <laughs> it's raining, man. Hallelujah. So this is going to be a little more you got, accurate. You got and jokes today. I know what they're going to say too. They're going to be like, oh yeah, well that's not accurate. Where's the donuts? Where's the donuts, man? You got a second? Hey, yeah. Sick for the Nod Squad, guys. Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? I'm Ken. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Nick. And uh, that's the Nod Squad. Well, I'm the I'm the general manager of the Two Way Radio Department. So uh, my my division does uh, two way radio communications for hospitals, golf courses, construction companies. Just pretty much just about anywhere in Southwest Florida that uh, needs to talk. Uh, we do GPS systems, dash cam systems for companies that have fleets of vehicles on the road, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah keeps us busy. Well, uh, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you. And you're the man for this section, yes? That's right, yeah, I handle this section. I answer that that handsome fellow right there. That handsome devil right there. <laughs> All right, nice meeting Good you. Good to see Thanks you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, come on, let's uh, head out to the bay. standing in our production bay. This is gonna be a, a bay where 12 or more vehicles in an agency is going to uh, come through this bay. So anything 12 or more quantities of vehicles will come through our production side. Over here, we have uh, two teams working on two different agencies simultaneously. 
So here in our production facility and our, our total building here, it's 16,000 square feet of, of production as well as one off, you know, your vehicles in the specialty bay that we have. Yeah. Uh, but in this facility here in Fort Myers, we have 18 certified EVT technicians. You said EVT technicians, what's that? Yep, EVT is emergency vehicle technician. You said certified, so obviously some schooling or some tests or yep. some class that has to be taken. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because I have no idea what I'm doing when I try to do it. All right, yeah. so what, what is in here right now? I see some Fords, I see some wrapped, I'm not wrapped, but marked units. What do we got in here at this moment? Yep, we got uh, three Ford police interceptor utilities. Uh -huh. These are gonna be marked patrol cars. And then over on the other side, we have some uh, community service aid rangers that we're building. So do you guys do, because I see they're unmarked, eventually are you guys gonna mark them? Yep, we yeah. do the graphics. So these are getting built out and then we'll do the graphics afterwards. You also do um, like window tints and all that stuff? Yep. So one-stop shop basically. One-stop shop, in-house window tint as well. Nice. I've seen my bay and this is definitely not it. So where's where's my car at? Your car is over this way. Oh, let's go take a look. Ooh, training weapons. Nice. Your beauty, yes, right here. She's a beauty. So this is the ones and twosies bay, yep. specialty bay. Yep, we do all our special projects here. Like I said, your special project. Whether we're building uh, fire vehicles, battalion, command vehicles, this will come through this side of the house. So I want to introduce you to uh, Casey Moore. Oh, he's over there. Okay, <laughs> what's up? He's gonna run us down about the shop. Yep. yep, he's our technical director. He's in charge of training technicians, um, overall QC quality assurance, uh, installation pra practices as well. All so. right, so let's uh, let's go meet Casey. All right. You must be Casey. Hey, what's going on, Nick? What's up, man? I noticed, doing? wait, wait, pull that back oh, out. Right. You're also the man with all the tools. Well, you gotta have the tools, man. Every tool for the job. Ooh la la. <laughs> Very organized. Take a look, guys. Yeah. You know, there's gonna be some gear gear guys, some gear heads, some they're gonna be like, oh, 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 yeah. But anyways, so, talk to me. Uh, Mike pointed me in your direction and told me to speak to you to let uh, us know in the Nod Squad. Nod Squad, what's up? What's up? Who? Uh, what's going on here and what's the process? Maybe you can walk us through and run us yeah, down real yeah, quick. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So uh, before I give you the tour, uh, let me just introduce myself. My name is Casey Moore. I'm the technical director here at Lightning Wireless. Uh, I oversee all of the technical aspects of our emergency vehicle division, uh, the engineering of, of how we wire the vehicles, uh, layouts, uh, product placement, light patterns, uh, programming, stuff like that. Nice. Uh, in addition to that, I'm also a, a full-time firefighter. I'm a captain uh, with the local fire department here in Southwest Florida. Hey. Uh, so I, I kind of play a whole bunch of different games here. I made a joke earlier about firefighters. It's raining man. Hallelujah. I apologize. Uh, and my, uh, all, Mike all, is uh, retired, right? He is retired, yeah. Same yeah. department as me. It's raining man. Hallelujah. Same department as yeah. you. Yeah. It's all in good fun. So, we, yep, we there, there, there it is right behind you. It explains everything. Yeah, man, the uh, thin red, thin blue line. We had to have it up, you know, all sides of it. Yeah, and then uh, as I was walking by your office, I noticed some of the stuff you have in there. I'll put some B-roll over there so they understand cool. what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, uh, let's go. Let's get started. Yeah, show, let's, uh, tell us what's let's going on. Let's show you what we got going on here. When we do a build like this, uh, there's a lot of planning that takes place. So we want to make sure we've got everything, all the details worked out before we actually start the build process. That way it goes as smooth as possible. So there's a lot of product. We want to make sure we get all that product situated right. Uh, what's going to be going where? What, what effects are we going for? What's the intention of it? So flash patterns, light placement, uh, directions, stuff like that. So a lot of planning. Uh, after the planning, then we go into prep. So that's what you'll see Gio over here. He's doing uh, prep. He's prepping the push bumper. Gio. Bottom wiring. Gio, what's up? Say hi to the Nod Squad. So he's prepping. This is our, our push bumper that's going to be going on the crown deck. So we get all the lights placed where we need them. Uh, they're all mounted. The wiring's all, all pre-done. Everything we do outside the vehicle, soldered, heat shrunk, then loomed. Everything's going to be nice and neat when it's done. Nice. Good work. And it's going to last. Work. We know it's not going to have any issues, especially in Florida. We got a lot of moisture, so yeah. we make sure no issues. And we might be taking this thing through some mud too.
<laughs> then you're good to go. We got good, you covered. Good to go. <laughs> Gio gives it a thumbs up. Yeah. So, a lot of prep. We also disassemble the whole vehicle, everything that, that we need to get access to, which is a lot in this case. We're putting a lot of lights on this, this, this car. So, oh, oh. whole front end comes off. Uh, gives us the room we need to run everything right. Uh, there's no no corners cut, no shortcuts taken. Everything's ran with the factory wiring. It's, it's all done right. It's uh, engine bay's nice and clean. Are, are Vicks easy to work on compared to some of these other cars? I would definitely say so. Yeah. I, everybody loved the Vic. They all mix the, miss the Cron Vic, so. Staple. Yeah, that's, it's that's, a, they're great cars. They yeah. last forever. I mean, yeah. obviously, they'll, they'll run a whole career as a, a police vehicle, then do taxi, limo, yeah. you know, services, these things, you can't kill them. They don't make them like this anymore. No. The rumor, apparently they were supposed to be coming out with some new ones, but that's I just heard rumor, rumor yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know that I'd hold my breath on that one, but. Yeah. We got the prep, you said, right? So planning. Planning, prep, prep. Uh, then disassemble. Uh, we get all the wiring ran. We do the infrastructure, we call it. So right. we get all the wiring ran front to back. Uh, at the same time, we're going to do mounting of the lights. So we're going to mount lights in the headliner. You're getting lights in the back window. We're doing lights on the doors, lights under the mirror, your front grill, your push bumper, tail lights. This thing's going to be lit up. Nice. Yeah. Christmas tree style, baby. And then, uh, so then after, after the wiring, right, uh, then what's after that? So now we've got all the infrastructure in. We've got all the lights placed. Everything's mounted. The wires ran. The heart of this whole system is going to be in the trunk. So somebody's going to be living in here for several hours. Do all the wiring, get it all buttoned up. But your whole control system is going to be in the trunk. Yeah, so you see right now, there's nothing in here. Yeah. Nice so it's a, a blank canvas. Uh, any burn marks in there? Oh my God. We didn't see any burn marks, so All somebody right. may have done a good job cleaning up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. How I, I heard there might have been a fire. There's a little odor there. There's a little, little smoky odor. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> so it's kind of phosphorus in here. <laughs> What's after that? We, we should be coming towards the yeah, end. Yeah, that, no? that'll be about wrapping it up. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have all the wiring completed back here. Then we go through uh, programming. This is going to be a very advanced system. Uh, it's the, the Wayland Core system. Uh, Situational based lighting, uh, siren controls. This thing will do, you're, you're limited to your imagination when it comes to this system. So wow. a lot of programming that goes into it. And then with programming comes testing. So we have to make sure all the bugs are worked and, out. Uh, and then we put it all back together. And we put it back together and she's ready and for the rolls road. out there. Turn some heads. Oh, it'll turn heads. Oh yeah. That's for sure. So th this one, we're, we're putting a little extra love into this. Yeah. This wouldn't be our traditional build. Uh, this vehicle, we know you're going to take it around, you're going to show it. Uh, it's going to be used for PR. So we wanted to make sure they could see everything that's done. Usually, a lot of this stuff, it gets buried into an equipment drawer, yeah. and it just does its job. That's what it's, it's for there for. We yeah. wanted to show the equipment off, so we're building a nice custom equipment rack, so Ooh. everything will sort of be on display. It'll oh. be nice and neat. It'll be clean. It's going to look good. Showtime, baby. Yeah. Showtime. And then uh, we're also going to be doing... Um, uh, for the Nod Squad here, it's going to be called What's in the Police Trunk episode where we open it up and unveil cool stuff that's in the back. Nice. It's going to look Definitely sweet with that stuff plenty of room propped back here. up in the back. Yeah, man. Nice. Oh, wow. I'm excited. How was the car when you got it? Was it good? Shape, it was good. It was good. Uh, hey, did you see the door? I did notice the door. Somebody put this really nice washer in there. It was a, a very good I, effort. I put a, a couple stacks of those washers in there. <laughs> We couldn't allow it to leave the shop that way. Man. Yeah. So uh, we actually, we, we took care of the door hinges for you. Replace the door hinges and you actually have a working door. You don't have to worry about falling out of the car anymore. Yes! <laughs> yeah, so they guys, they uh, fixed my door better because I think I fixed it. <laughs> much love to you guys for that. Thank you Absolutely. so much. And that just shows. Safety first. We got to make sure you shows, can stay in the man. car. Like man. you guys care yeah, about it. Absolutely. I was like, yeah, we could. Yeah, for the lights, but look at that door. You know, we can't leave yeah, it. Can't let it roll yeah, out that man. way. That's awesome. Well, yep. thank you guys for that. Absolutely. And uh, I'm excited to get this whole process, uh, well, it's already going, but completed yep. so I can check it out. It's definitely a process. Uh, we want to make sure everything's done right. Mm -hmm. So a lot of time is put into it, but uh, it's worth it in the end. Well, thank you, my brother. Absolutely. Thank you. And uh, I'll be, I'm going to fly on the wall All with right, a brother. camera. <laughs> Back to work. That was gotta be the coolest crown pick that was ever built. Whoa! Whoa, dude! I wanna give a 
shout out real quick to John, uh, my business partner. He couldn't be here, he's on vacation. And then my uh, boys up in Sarasota, Tom, Michael, Daryl, uh, Jonathan, and uh, Mikey. And then my uh, North Florida sales guy, Red. Shout outs for days. <laughs>